My name is Caleb Boone. I am a junior and taking finance. I will be graduating in December of 2015. The question and answer session was my favorite part. There were a few takeaways that I had. The two biggest things he said that would lead to happiness are when you are deciding on who you're going to marry and how your kids turn out. He said mistakes, you can make a lot of mistakes in life and in business and most of them are pretty easy to overcome. Even the loss of money isn't that big of a deal. But eventually, he said, when you're old like him, 84 years old, and speaking with your friends, what's going to be most important to you is the relationships that you have, especially with your family and how your children turned out. One of my favorite lines that he said was, never underestimate the man who overestimates himself. He said that's true in so many different cases. You um, it's true in business. He said he looks for that trait in CEOs. If they are confident in themselves, even if they shouldn't necessarily be, it's a trait that uh, helps them continue and uh, perform and be able to achieve the, the success that they experience. But that was one of my favorite lines that he said. There's some specific business advice that Mr. Buffett gave to all of us that I really found very insightful. A couple things actually. The number one thing he recommended that we all do in the next 12 months is increase our communication skills in two ways. Being able to publicly speak and also written communication. And the other um, piece with that is he recommended that we look at our different students that we work with, different colleagues, co-workers, whatever the case may be, and pick the person that we think demonstrates the most uh, the qualities that will make them most successful. Usually you'll find that those are elective qualities, things that you can choose to do. Um, and then on the contrast of that, pick the person who you would short and sell and you don't like that person or what they're doing and take those qualities and eliminate them from your life. And he said more often than not you'll find that those are elective qualities so you can control what kind of leader you're becoming. And as you go through life your age will only make you more of what you really are. So if you're a kind, generous person who's giving and a good communicator, you'll become more of that as you accumulate more money and as you get older. But if you're kind of a crotchety old 40-year-old, you'll be a crotchety old 70-year-old. He says in business, there is no strike zone. Do what you're comfortable with. And he only swings at pitches that he feels confident he can you swing at pitches that you're not comfortable with, you're a lot more likely to experience failures that are unnecessary. So you are going to fail and that's really not a problem, but fail doing something you're comfortable and feel passionate in that you will succeed in rather than doing what you're pressured to do by external influences. And I really like that. He, he seemed like a grandfatherly figure, but a little more accomplished than most grandpas.